although only remotely related to the scriptures and what I uh, intend to preach about today, I must tell you, earlier today I had Mass at St. Malachy's School, and it was hosted, sponsored by a kindergarten class, and they actually did the reads, and uh, haltingly, you might imagine, but beautifully, and then there was one little character sitting in a, uh, these chairs off to the other side of the sanctuary who, throughout the Mass, uh, once in a while, he would go, Father, Father. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he did it so, several times, especially during the homily, so I, I, I want to see a little... <laughs> he was as much giving himself a thumbs up as, as, as me, I, I think. But delighted in uh, being able to be there, and just what a lovely homily he was, uh, really, uh, for all of us. But I did ask the kids, all of the kids that day, <clears throat> What makes you afraid sometimes? What are you afraid of in your life? And they had some of the standard answers that the little kid would say. Some raised their hands and said, well, I'm, I'm afraid of the dark. Others, you know, I'm, I'm, af I'm afraid of dogs. They, they scared me. Uh, so I, I asked them, are you afraid of your pastor, Father Abel? And uh, <laughs> no one would be afraid of Father Abel. Uh, I grew up deathly afraid of my pastor, who shall remain nameless. God bless him. He's, he's in heaven. He was a, he was a tough old Irish Monsignor, and somehow they had it in their, their head in those days that that's what you were supposed to be. You were supposed to be mean <laughs> and scary, an uh, intimidating presence to little guys and an intim intimidating presence to adults. Not a joyful way of, of living the gospel. That was you know, this kind of sad in some ways. But... Uh, we get a, mes a message from the first reading today that Paul needed to hear, that we need to hear once in a while too, the kids do, and big kids do. And it's, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, Paul. I am with you. And he had cause for fears. I think all of the early believers did. Uh, fear of being persecuted, fear of being apprehended, arrested, fear of being tortured, fear of being killed, suffering martyrdom, for the faith. Lots of fears. And Jesus appearing to him, speaking to him again so beautifully and so intimately and personally and saying very clearly, Paul, I'm here. Uh, there's no cause for fear. Don't, don't be afraid, Paul. So in the midst of the challenges of our lives, in the, in the midst of fearful moments, we remember the things that give us joy, and we remember the obligation to, if we're not feeling joyful, to act joyful, to uh, act happy, and, and let, let that choice and that action lead our heart and mind away from fear uh, uh, and uh, away from doubt to confident joy in the Lord, because that's God's promise too. I will see you again, Jesus says in the Gospel, I'll see you again, this is his promise and your hearts will be filled with joy, and it will be a joy that no one can take from you.